Hello witches, I'm Bees, and welcome to my YouTube channel now. Well, this is going to be the first YouTube video that I'm going to be doing. Um, it's going to be a review on the first cannabis cafe uh, out here. Uh, it's called Lowell Farms, but before that, let me introduce myself. So, I'm Bees. I've been doing uh, weed tube videos, uh, just like a mixture of like reviewing and vlogging and trying to save my brand, Can It Cup It? And it's not only mine, I started it with my partner back in Queens, New York. I moved to California a year ago, she's still over there. And we run an Instagram account called Canna Coven, we're a little logo with the message, uh, where which is we unite, light, and fight. So, females of all kind, I want them to kind of, it's like female smokers, where we're trying to unite y'all. Uh, where we come in different shapes and forms and sizes, which is the symbolism of the witch. Uh, where, you know, we're not all doing yoga and we're not all trapping. So it's just like we can just be simple as a nurse or a mom. You get what I'm saying? So we come in different shapes and forms and sizes and we just want to educate. Like, my goal is to kind of like vlog about like my experience as someone that's coming from a non legal state to a legal state. And um, I would like to say that's what the moon represents because it's a mixture of. Of magic and science at the same time you know like um, I'm more on the recreational side while my partner is more on the medicinal side of things and we have different point of views but the goal is to be the same and that's to legalize weed you know we would love to be part of history and to help legalize weed back in the East Coast and just to help educate educate uh, stoners especially you know we have the feminine divine energy but can of coven's open to all witches and warlocks and whatever creature you decide to be so i'm smoking for my king palm actually for my tobacco free smokers um if you don't like you know like duchess or switchers or uh cigarillos king palm has been my best friend out here and i have like a bunch so thank you rico acts entertainment you can find them on instagram too um okay so let me get to what this video is really about it was first experience at the first cannabis cafe, I guess nationwide. <coughs> um, the last time I've been to a cafe was when I was in Europe in Amsterdam. So that was really cool. Uh, that was when I was 16 and I'm not gonna let y'all know my age now, but it recently was my birthday. And I, um, I, I, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. I've been stalking Lowell Farms since I knew they were gonna come out with this cafe. I was like, oh no. I was on the Instagram, I was on the internet, making sure I knew when it was gonna open and all that. I signed up for the email, I even wanted them to hire me. I was like, yo, I've been serving, I've been bartending, I've been bartending and waitressing and um, managing since I was like eight. I mean eight, for like eight years, <laughs> excuse me, for eight years. And, um, you know, so I know the hospitality business inside and out. And even when I was in the military, I went in as a cook. So I like I've chefed it up, I've served it up, I whipped it up, I I did it all. You know what I'm saying? But the hospitality business isn't really like it's just a skill. You know that I have. It's not the passion. You know, I would love to own a club someday. You know, that's the future talking. But for now, this is my project. So I I uh. I wanted them to hire me and they didn't because in you have to put in your email and your Instagram account so whatever they saw on my Instagram they I just didn't fit with I guess what they tried to represent but I wasn't hand screw that like they're lost you know what I'm saying but it's not the end of the world for me either because at the end of the day I have something to focus on um, so I've been stalking them point is and I was like all right fine I didn't get hired but they let you know in advance that they're accepting reservations. And I was like, bet, and I was there. I made it just on time because I saw it for work and I swear to you, I was probably one of the first people who signed up for a reservation because I waited till 12 p.m. Like it, if you're a sneakerhead, I know that y'all be waiting and like waiting and refreshing that button and refreshing until that, that sneaker is available. So that is how it was for me with Lowell. I was like, uh -uh, I'm gonna get this reservation. Uh, you had to put a card down. I did. It didn't charge me. I knew they wouldn't. And I knew they would charge me if I didn't show up. So I, uh, so I got the reservation, and I knew they were opening up on the 24th. But it only allowed me to make the reservation for the 30th. I should have called 
I should have called to change that, but I didn't. I had other things going on and it worked out in my favor because I ended up being uh, not off, but I, I ended up having a day shift, you know? So I'm also transitioning like jobs. And um, so I got the reservation for the 30th and I got it for myself. <coughs> Because I'm not dating anyone and I didn't have anyone to go with at the time or I don't know it was just like I just did it for myself I wasn't thinking of doing going with anyone yet until it said reservation for two and I was like fuck so I just put it on Instagram and I was like you know what whoever uh, answers me answers me and a lot actually a lot of people answered me and I was like ah, I don't know who to choose and I was thinking of doing like another like giveaway which I should have you know I just didn't have time so Evelyn, aka Dabbing Russian, uh, she hits me up. She's like, I'm going with you. And I was like, all right, fine, let's do it. And the day comes, and we finally, I got there first. So I got to um, Low Farms first. She already called me. She's like, girl, I'm coming from Calabasas, and she's, you know, she's gonna be running late. So I already knew. I was like, all right, fine, I'll grab the table. I didn't read the fine print on the email that they send you. Oh, the, let me also rewind let me go back a little bit so after I got the reservation they send you a courtesy email about your reservation and then on top of that uh, even though I thought I thought the 30th was actually going to be the opening day since I you couldn't really make reservations but you know when things open they get pushed back it's like oh it's gonna open in September or and then it's open in October you know so I was like, damn, uh, so it was open, so people were experiencing it before me, and I was like, damn it, y'all, like, I really wanted to go opening day, but I did see on ABC7 the opening day and the crowd it was, so I was like, oh, okay, and um, the 30th, uh, for me, it ended up working out anyway, so that didn't, oh, but they did apologize, they sent another apology email courtesy email where they were like hey sorry for the confusion uh we're still honoring and we're actually going to be open from the 29th through 30th for the people who made the reservations and i was like that cool and uh, so they scan your id so make sure you have an id obviously you know it's kind of like going into a club you need your id when it's welcoming there's a girl there and then there's another uh host host hostess uh this little trailway and that's who you go to so you give her your name and the uh, the table or you just give her your name uh then she was like oh okay so are you waiting for someone else and i was like yeah she's like oh okay so you can just wait by the bar and we'll call you so point is make sure your whole party is there uh when you do the reservation so if you sign up for two people make sure they're, they're there maybe they'll be more lenient with three or four so I was like, okay, cool, but I didn't really want to be at the bar, but I still looked around. It was such a sophisticated, like, area. I took advantage, went to the restroom, she came. So she comes, and she comes with her little dog, her little black Pomeranian money. And seated to the table, it was no biggie. So I, I'm, I wouldn't say they're pet friendly, because I don't want everybody to be like, oh, you know, they're pet friendly, but that is her service dog. They didn't question her because it was a small dog. So I would say that they are small dog friendly because I experienced small dog friendly experience. So definitely double check, but service dogs, service animals, I, I, I think they're allowed in for sure. So money was able to go in, no, but no biggie. So that was cool. Now, uh, they try to seat us at this table and in the middle there's like this cool design of a tree and then a little, they're seating around the tree and then it's other, there's tables and then seats around the tree. And that's really cool and all. And I was gonna go sit in my seat, I was like, bet I'm gonna get the seat by the tree. And she's like, go ahead girl, go, right? And I was like, I get it. And then I like trip and I'm wearing heels. And I like fall, I'm like tripped. And I thought I tripped in the plant, like in the root of the tree. But then Evelyn's like, whoa, there's a hole there. Like, can we sit somewhere else? Or can we, you know, can you, can you cover that up? Like, that's a liability. And I was like, <laughs> like, get you a friend like Evelyn. <laughs> cause <laughs> you know, she's right. Like, you know, I didn't make it a big deal cause I'm kind of too excited in the moment. But it was good for her to be like, oh, like, oh, okay, like, hold up. Like, my homegirl is about a trip right now. 
And I thought that was pretty cool, but she was right. And there was like this just like big hole. You know what I'm saying? It was like a pipe. So um after that we found like a corner spot and she wanted to move there and I was like, yes, let's go. Cause it was already like tight and it wasn't it wasn't overly crowded though. I'm just saying the seating area around the tree, I guess, because it looked cool. It was just like, it was just too crowded. And that area I didn't really like. So we finally got like a corner area with like a wooden bench. So we got like that corner wooden bench and area. So it, oof, it was nice. And it was kind of, it, I want to say there were these vents above us that kind of looked like kitchen vents. So I don't know if it was AC or a heater, but we were still comfy. So we were comfy. Um, and then we look at the menus. So we get two different menus. So we've got one menu that's front and back and that's the food menu They have snacks. They have sandwiches. They don't have entrees. They have desserts. They have beverages and I, I Not in that menu, but Nothing's infused on the food menu. Nothing's infused on the food menu. Nothing's infused on the food menu um, On the booklet menu though the book now there's a book and that's the book <laughs> you know like picture like if a dispensary became a restaurant boom right on the shmoney because the first page is going to be intimidating because those are the constraints 125 all i saw was 185 125 175 i was like mm -hmm. <laughs> like flip and then uh, i was like no i think the first page was like vape and then concentrates and oils and dabbing and she's like really studying it you know uh checking out the the percentages the brands and i thought that was really cool too i didn't uh i didn't really like look at it as as much really i don't know i don't know if i cared i want to say that i did and i didn't like me i guess because i'm not a butt tender i don't really understand or see the language that they see like you know i was more concerned on let me make sure i can fucking afford this you know and how i'm gonna do this because i'm literally winging it and i want to make sure that i'm gonna still experience a good time not embarrass myself and make sure I, I can even be here you get me or see what i have to do see what i have to call just in case you know what i'm saying so i was just like kind of studying the numbers before the product and I guess that just happens when you're a broke stunner. I'm sorry. Like, I don't think I was the only one who had to do that, you know? So I don't feel guilty admitting that out loud. And, uh, but her, she was, she's a bud tender. And she's been a bud tender forever. She's been in the game for since she was 18. And I've only been in it since I was, like, 23. Really. I started smoking when I was, like, 14, 15. But stopped into it, into it, 23. She's been, like, bud tending since she was, like, 18, dispensaries, all that. And I was like, oh, look so what she sees and what I see is just like I guess it's like a different language sometimes but it's simple like you can read it like it's just it's there it's labeled it's not hard to read it's just not what I was look, looking at or focused on um, but it was it is a bigger booklet and it looks intimidating but don't worry trust there's definitely affordable joints on there maybe and actually this is the one I got so I actually ended up getting this like their indica it was only $15 and I got it to go so let me get more into that right so uh, on the last page then they talk about renting uh, the tools you can rent you can rent a puffco you can rent a bong you can rent a lighter you can rent this you can rent that uh, probably a tray joints all that right there it's some it says free 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 so home evelyn's like bet we can get the pup coat because evelyn brought her own stuff i brought my own flower too so it's not like i'm flowerless before we order our food right Kev, uh <clears throat> before we order our food uh then it, we after we sit down a gentleman comes up to us a tall dude he was bald he had beard and he comes up and he's like hi hello i'm kevin and i was like and he was like and then hi i'm kevin to evelyn right and evelyn's like i'm evelyn like all nice and cute and i was like oh you wanted my name because kevin introduced himself but didn't let me know who he was so i don't even like giving out my real name so you want my fake name but who am i gonna give my fake name to he just said i am kevin so i'm assuming he was the manager because he never gave a title you know what i'm saying he was just like i just heard that you fell in the hole and you know we're still new and just trying to uh just trying to 
we're still learning new things, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that happens. You know, I was like, no, no worries, that happens. Um, you know, I just, it was just one of those moments where I just felt like, you know, where someone's judging you, like, I know I don't sound crazy. It's like, you feel their judgment through their eyes. It's like, he was just like, are we not going to say names now? And I was just like, mm -hmm. like, who, like, you know, and, um, that kind of like, you know, got me all, uh, not all weird, but just like a weird vibe. Like, I'm like, okay, arrogant me, kind of, because I, at the same time, as much as he was like concerned that I was like, okay, that I fell he kind of just the way he introduced himself was just like i still don't know who he is like is he the manager or not or is he a host is he just somebody that, i don't know you know but i'm assuming it was because i guess that a manager would only speak to you about that but that i didn't really necessarily like appreciate so when the bud tender comes we asked for it to use the Puffco, and the bartender goes like, okay, just so you know that there is a $20 fee, a uh, renting fee. And I was like, is that the fee that if you bring your own flour? Because I did do my research before, I saw that it is, there, it is a fee if you bring your own flour. So I just didn't know how much, so I'm assuming it was the $20, you know? I'm like, oh, so it's 20 bucks to smoke in here, right? And... Evelyn's just like, I have my Puffco in my car. Like, I'm just going to go to my car and get my Puffco. You know, like, she just probably just wanted to use someone else's, a clean one, didn't want to use hers, you know. And I don't blame her, shit. So, uh, she's like, okay, so what's different here, you know? Like, looking at the menu, she's like, my shop has this, not me. Again, just like on some, I'm just going to experience this. I'm just going to watch. But I'm also glad, like, at the same time, like, I'm glad I wasn't like totally 100% naive to this. Like, she was kind of making, she has also experience in the hospitality business too. And I think she said that she's managed, or like, yeah, she was managing uh, two clubs out here in Cali. And, you know, um, yeah, so her and I kind of were on the same page of like judging the place, you know, but I was more looking at like, like, I just wanted to hear everything first, you know? And um, so we were kind of, like, not ordering anything yet off the bud menu. Because she had her own thing. I had my own thing. We were like, okay, let's see what's up with the food. So we ordered food first. We wanted to order food, chit-chat. Her and I are talking, you know, talking our girl talk. Getting to know each other, too. You know, this is actually, like, the first time her and I actually hung out. We only know each other through events, really. And through mutual friends or associate um so when it was time to meet up i wanted to take advantage and pick her brain and i appreciate her for being so open with me and i was being open with her and it, it was really good combo um so i know the bud tender was coming in and out like trying to see like what we were gonna do so i think oh this is when they gave up so evelyn was like jay farms is coming by the way and i'm like okay cool like the more the merrier i did invite someone in and someone could have came in i wanted to have a plus one but their id wasn't uh it's not up to date so you can't go in with an expired id so i was like well whatever you know so i just chilled with uh j farms and evelyn and i wasn't like mad i didn't feel like a third wheel so i was gucci you know but you know sometimes you kind of end up being because they know each other more personal more intimate and i was just there like yeah let me use the bathroom <laughs> you know but i didn't it, i never felt like you know because when i would come they would conversate with me and j farms blessed the shit out of me dude like he had diamonds on diamonds on diamonds like coming out with his concentrates like you can see it on my story because honestly i love 710 labs and 710 labs is on the menu um and i would have loved to go on them but i can't afford a hundred uh, i'm not gonna pay 185 bucks or like 80 bucks or i'm just not if you know like if we already have it i just know for sure like if you're someone that already has a lot of weed or i don't even have a lot of weed but if you still have weed on you or know you can get weed especially for cheaper or just out of the dispensary for cheaper you know then it's kind of like uh, 
you know, like, uh, like I, I don't really have to do this. So I think I, we were more on, if like you had to see our table, I think it was more like that type of energy. Like, ah, uh, we have our own shit, so what's the point of paying for it? Can we just smoke here, you know, not get charged to smoke, but... It, it, but I understand why they do it. At the end of the day, it's business. You're in their place. So, um, there was that part, and he, uh, he, he had, just, he was just dabbing me out. He was dabbing me the fuck out. But he had his own dab rig, and um, Evelyn had the puffco. Everything tasted better through the puffco. Sorry, Jay Pars. You're amazing. Thank you so much for blessing me. <gasps> no. Okay. Sorry. Thank you so much for blessing me, but. Um, yeah, the puffco is just clean, dude. Like, and I tasted her concentrates, his concentrates are just delicious. So, unfortunately, I didn't really get to enjoy what they had for flour, for vapes, for concentrates on the menu. Um, I just, uh, like to me, it just wasn't impressive on my end. You get me. And Evelyn and I agree on something like she was like this is somewhere where you take your sugar daddy and Or the next dude that's gonna come out to see if he can afford your ass And I was like yes because it's true like I mean sophisticated environment Environment sophisticated. I loved it. You know, they didn't really have too much fun with the menu. The menu is definitely very like uh, It's delicious. Don't get me wrong. I got my vegan nachos. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like you can get that sh you can get it anywhere like you can get it anywhere in Cali, TBH. It wasn't like something like, oh, like, like I, I kind of wanted some Martha Stewart vibes, you know, like something like, I don't know, it's crazy mixes. But I guess these are crazy mixes for when you're super, super bland. Food is super bland, but it was good. I'm not gonna say that the food was bad because it, it wasn't. It was good. It was delicious, but it's the menu. You know, it's just like going to anywhere. So that part wasn't different. The only thing that uh, I would say, like, they do sell edibles. And edibles are packaged. So honestly, just picture, like, a dispensary menu. And, you know, where, or, like, picture when you're, in, you're at a dispensary and you see the sections. That's just all in one menu. So they definitely had edibles. And the edible, they said, that, uh, honestly, you know what's crazy? Is that the food server was educating us more than the bartender. The bartenders, I know that they were, like, honestly, Evelyn is just an uh, alpha female. And she just wants to know if you know your shit. Because if you come, I think she's one of those people that she's going to come at you. And if you come at her better, she's going to be more impressed, you know. But these bartenders kind of like didn't take advantage, you know. Uh, they kind of just were like, oh, okay, and walked away. Because, you know, like when you serve and you're dealing with a customer and you don't like how they speak to you or whatever, you just either walk away or you just educate them. But it was the food server who was like, listen, we can't, uh, we have nothing infused, but, you know, uh, we have the we have the edibles and the edibles are packaged and we can't give you we can't sell uh, food if it's infused unless it's packaged and I didn't know that you get me so I was like oh, thank yeah so uh, that's that I can really say they say casual California tire wear um, and one more thing too so. It, I ended my birthday month at Lowell, but I didn't let them know it was my birthday. Evelyn was like, it's her birthday. Jay Farms was like, it's her birthday. And they said it from the host to Kevin to the bartender to the food tender. Like, I in front of me, you know? Like, and not in a bad way. They were just like, we're here for her birthday. We're here for her birthday. And I know that my birthday wasn't on that date. Um, I did kind of go there for my birthday because I wanted to end my birthday month like that I wanted to be part of history like this is what I meant This is what I've envisioned when I was in Queens in my basement all depressed like You know like I I, I, I was choosing weed over a lot of stuff because we kept me sane And I didn't want to go back to alcohol So I was like this is a very important like You know thing for me to do and uh nothing like not even like a little candle or maybe like a little uh drink or 
so i don't know if they do like birthday things or birthday nothing like not saying that they had to because they don't my birthday wasn't on that day specifically but you know i i get like i said i'm a server like what do you do aren't you like waitresses and bartenders like what do you do when someone says it's your, their birthday like you know uh you either like let a manager know you do something on your own i mean like do you really go digging and be like oh it's not really their birthday i'm gonna some do some don't but from my experience of what i've done for other people i kind of didn't get some of that respect there and you know maybe it's because we weren't i didn't order we didn't order our joints until the end you know we were like we're gonna take this to go because we already got our stuff we came here kind of prepared so we didn't want i mean it was five dollars off like mine was 15 uh, I think her joint was like 18 so it wasn't anything crazy so either or if you pay the 20 bucks more or less you're paying the same let me tell you about the end speaking of 20 bucks I ended up on my check I only ended up spending 40 bucks $20 on some vegan nachos and uh, 16 bucks on this joint so butt tender gave me back my change food server as much as impressed as I was with her I was actually gonna tip her a little bit more uh, my thing, my food was 18. So yeah, she kept the extra two bucks. Never came back with my change. And I always think that's like not a good look. I'm like, damn girl, I would have given you more, five extra more dollars if you gave me my two dollars back. Just so that I know, you know? Like, or just so that I didn't even, I was like, oh, I'm leaving. Because as much as I enjoyed it, listen i've been to uh, there's this restaurant in in brooklyn i don't want to say but it's a gem it's a gem if you want to know what what it is i'll let you know but there's this restaurant in brooklyn i used to go to all the time with my aunt and we would be able to smoke joints outside you get me out like it wasn't while we ate our tacos you know and i think this was empanadas actually because out here there's hella tacos <laughs> but um it wasn't I didn't, if anything, I felt like I was I was paying a little bit more money for something I could do for free. But for people who want to impress or have a good time or, you know, there are times where you're out at dinner and you're like, fuck, I need a bong rip. And what do you do? You go to your car, right? And you take a hit. So I think that combination of the two where it's more normalized and not so stigmatized, you know, that's the great part. That's amazing. That's awesome. And I think that's an experience that people need to know, understand, and normalize. So that I 100%, I am all for. 110. Will I go back? Probably. When I know I got 40 bucks to spend on my own. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Let me stop. Um, or if someone else invites me or if I go with the group, yes, I would go back. You know, do I recommend it to other people? Absolutely. It's history. Might as well just experience it. You know, uh, isn't anything crazy, fantastical, or do you think that you find anything new? Not really. If you're a stoner already, you're not. I don't think you're gonna be really too much impressed. You know, um, we were kind of more of like a fun. This is, honestly, these are for the stoners, like for deaf for sure. That I think are a little bit more like conservative or if you want like a more like quiet time type of vibe you know just chit chat let me talk about my day sally that's perfect um but like i'll take my mom there like i would take my mom there boom i'm taking my mom there as soon as she comes visit me it's over i'm taking my mom there you know like that's who you want to bring there for sure but you know nothing like i said I, that was my experience my experience not the worst not the best nothing crazy like it was just dope but i hope that if you do go that i did give you some tips you know uh have your own check i think it's all separate checks anyways by id um get there with your whole party and it would be cheaper if you do both if you order something and if you have your own weed i think i think on my end you know so yeah have a good name oh yeah yeah this is where i tell you to follow me right so follow canna coven first follow canna coven canna coven let me know you found me on the youtube and i'll follow you from my personal page yeah for sure for sure all right and also check me out on the weed 
um, I'm under there as cannabis. I still don't know what I'm gonna put my name for there. And also, if you do end up liking my shirt, this is actually like a hoodie too. Uh, I will have stuff more available soon. I'm figuring out a way how to do this. I'm still an amateur at all this. WeTube was like my practice run with this vlogging. And people were like, you gotta get a YouTube girl, so, and I do. Because the WeTube too, it's just, um, it's not bad, it's not the worst, you know? Um, it's just, just go on the first page yourself and let me know what you think about it. Because for me, it's just, I feel very limited there. And I highly, I don't wanna give up on the WeTube. I don't I don't want to stop. This will probably go on the WeTube as well. Um, but I really encourage more stoners of color more stoners of different ethnicities, more stoners of different cultures, more stoners of different parts of the world to start, you know, having fun on there. You know, have fun on there. We see that I just feel like it's more or less the same thing over and over. My boring ass on there just talking about can of coven and stuff and a lot of hot boxing in cars. There's good educational videos. If you uh, haven't been on the WeTube and you think you just heard of it, check out Just High Low infused with cannabis um stoner oh my god poetic stoner poetic stoner is good she's been featured the green grinders club tyler therapy and i know i'm missing somebody socials lifestyles i just recently subscribed to them too so yeah definitely check them out just hilo she's like my all-time i think i watch her the most um, she's like the Martha Stewart of the cannabis world. Watch if you found her out through me, don't forget. Okay. So anyways, thank you so much for hearing me blog, vlog, and hopefully I've come to you with more of this stuff. So subscribe, 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 subscribe. Okay. I need my subscribers stat and follow me on the weetube so you can see more of me smoking and stuff on there or i think i'll put more like reviews i'm still trying to see how i can organize and balance all that so hope you enjoyed bye witches light it up light it up wake and bake i'm feeling great i'm high